Today I'm gonna work on the financial analysis of using Simulate. It's really easy, very straightforward. So suppose let's have a start and a queue, an action, and a finish unit. And I'm gonna just move them a little bit. So this one is the delivery and then per exponential. So if we do the graphics, we show the name. So this one is the storage where there is the holding cost. And we show the name and this is the machining step. And this is the ending of the production line. Show it. Okay. All right. So the first step would be. Um, Let's do it this way. So if you have the delivery and so double click finance, we have the capital cost and the cost per unit. So the cost per unit for delivery unit, let's suppose it is $1 to get it delivered. And capital cost, which you have to add it regardless. So capital cost, you only pay it once. So by it's like I, um, so you have to pay this capital cost. Okay, as you could say it's like an overhead or it's like an investment cost or it could be like per the whole order. So for example, if you're running the whole day, you pay one times the capital cost. So if that value is zero and we have this is the delivery time, this is the delivery value, sorry. And let's do the other one. So we need the storage, finance. So the value is zero and so if the holding cost is 0 0.01, for example, per unit, and just be careful, it's like per unit per minute. So the cost, the holding cost of having a one unit uh, per day, storing it or holding it is 0 0.01. Okay, and this is a um, production one. So capital cost again is like once per day and usage cost per minute, which is the machine running cost. So I'm gonna keep it as zero. And if it, each unit would cost 0 0.5, it's like 50p as in pound. And the ending of the line, finance, so a revenue cost, 100 is a lot. So I'm gonna consider it as $2. For each produce unit, how much it cost. One more thing I need to do is to set the production line. So we have 240 minutes, which is eight hours, and beep on completion. And we do the form up period as 59.99. And warm up is not considered in the result. Another thing that we need to do is data and rules we have to click on the overhead cost which is that one here okay so we have the fixed cost and the fixed revenue but they're both overhead cost so the fixed cost is 1000 okay and so this is the overhead per a period of time in our case it's like per one day so if i do run and i'm gonna save this as financial analysis okay so if i run the model let us see what we will obtain and so we have you'd see it as 299 but that 299 is plus one more period but it's not considered as part of the system so what i want to do here so if i run it again i want to show you one thing so results we have work completed right click to be considered 
okay and we need the income statement so we click on home we have the income statement and you select the one you really want out of everything so you have the cost the revenue the cost and the profit okay so if I run the model if I go to the result manager now I have the total revenue total cost total profit uh, total revenue because uh, let me show you one thing if I said for one reason I want the production run to be for two days instead of one so that one is gonna be like 1000 minutes okay. and because the overhead you paid only once and I'm gonna run this to see what we will obtain you could see that value here run into 1000 you could make it faster if you don't want to run to wait and we click on the result manager so now we have 176 as simulation time as 88 unit if you do it for one year so we have uh, I'm gonna do it in, 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 in days but let me reset it first so it's production run here so we have it in days 250 days okay and then so this is 11703 and then that would be the result manager so we have the 223,406 42,796 as cost so is it possible to reduce this cost a little bit let's see what we can do so we have the holding cost here and 0 0.01 per unit per day and but here I need to bring your attention to the following the unit of time we have in our system is one minute so I'm gonna make it even smaller because it's going to be too expensive per day 0 0.01 to hold it per minute and the machine setup for the finance is 0 0.5 I'm gonna leave this as it is and the revenue selling cost is I'm gonna do it as five pound and we have the overhead cost is 1000 so I'm gonna make this as 500 to see if things will be different and the properties or production run so it's gonna be here back in minute let's see if I'm gonna save it and run it again and the result here result manager is minus 427 okay because the overhead cost is huge so if we stop this for a second and we go production run again 2500 minutes let's see what will happen so we run it 2500 minutes and then home results and is 861 what happened here very briefly um, <coughs> Excuse me, so what happened here? You only pay overhead once, you don't pay it often for the whole run, which is normal because you calculate it over a period of time and you pay it once. So, if you want a copy of this, please let me know of this model. It's very easy, very straightforward. Thank you. Mm-hmm.